Previously on the Guild of Brockhart, our adventurers find themselves in a magical graveyard on their way to Ashbourne. They discovered that they were locked in and explored around for a way out. In the search, they found a puzzle and started solving it hoping it will unlock their exit. Gnomeface then realized that it was a ritual and finished it, summoning a wraith as a result. They went out and took down the wraith, but it was not done. The wraith started charging up, seemingly for a second round. While the group was getting into position, Toriel summoned all of her animals and told everyone to run away and she would hold it off. The rest of the group hesitated, but reluctantly ran out of the graveyard. They camped out under a tree, being glad they were safe, wondering what is going to happen to Toriel, and getting ready to continue to Ashbourne. Sounds good to you? Yes, yeah, sounds excellent. Sounds right to me. Did you level up my shite? Well, I'm guessing you didn't because you've been busy. Oh, did we get levels in anything? Oh, I've got a level in water elemental, a level in heal, and that seems to be about it. Well, <laughs> I'm going to level heal. up my gameplay because now I know I can dual wield and dual attack at the same time. <laughs> Yes, I have a level in heal. Oh, there it is. Okay. I get nothing. I get well, nothing for leveling him up. Well, technically, I, I haven't been enforced in it, but when you're using it, it's only supposed to... At level one, it's 50% effect, so it would only heal oh, yeah. half, half as much as... uh. You rolled, and now it's three quarters. It doesn't I actually become. It, it says it right there. Does it? Yeah. Now it's seventy-five percent oh. effect. I remember you doing something like that. I just forgot it existed. Because, like, un until it's level three, because it's really quick if you use it steadily to get anything to level three. So technically, it doesn't become one hundred percent to level three. I'm cool with it. Okay, why do I see all blackness? Yep. Ah. So we rested under the tree. You found a tree out like a ways away from the graveyard. Like you guys were running pretty fast and pretty <laughs> long. You you yep. was, you were almost scared shitless. I mean. Uh I wasn't scared shitless. Gnome face is never scared shitless. I wasn't scared shitless either. I already shit when I was terrified under that spell. That's that right. is true. <laughs> you did shit. That's right. I well, forgot about that. There, there was nothing left for me to give. I was, you know, I was set. <laughs> Can we find a stream? <laughs> the doofus smells funny. We need a stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the heat of the moment, I... Uh, didn't smell any of that, but now uh, I must have uh, stepped on a you know a, a corpse or something. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. You uh, you you guys hear a bunch of rustling or a bunch of sounds within the forest. You can go ahead and investigate if you like, or move on. Uh, well, Gnome Face, uh, you want to watch my back while I step into the stream real quick? Did we find a stream? No, you, you just find? you hear sounds in the distance. Um, I honestly say we stick to the road. And if we cross the stream, then we can dunk you in it. Actually, you know what? You know what better? I cast Shower Dance, specifically over his head. You I, do that. I bask in it. Oh, you... <laughs> This is very convenient. <laughs> Die Danger you... tends to enjoy it. <laughs> well, well, we all enjoy you getting clean, Mr. Poopy Pants. Okay, yes. And as for the voices in the forest, now that my mind and body are clear, I say we investigate. If it's a foe, that'll give us a chance to regain our confidence by beating something weaker than us instead of running away. <laughs> I still say we head for the city because I don't know if Toriel is going to be capable of holding that thing off, and I don't want to come in after us. No, 
don't think it's going to want to leave its home. I don't yeah. think it even knows where we are. I am going to do, I suggest we do a check and see who wins and we'll follow that one. Bam. I rolled an eight. <laughs> I rolled damn. an eight. <laughs> well, damn, we're still indecided. Really like rock, paper, scissors. Uh, 13. Oh. Oh. Crap. We, I, I point my rapier down the road and say, march. We march down the road. Uh, you win this time, no face. Sorry, voices in the forest. You survive another day. I'm assuming they're enemies. <laughs> so Donnie Danger just hears a little something. And he's like, no, we should go find the voices. And Gnome Face is like, dude, it's it's literally just branches falling out of a tree. Let's move on. And, Don, <laughs> and he, so he's kind of like pulling. And Willow chimes in. He's like, dude, can... Dude, Really, Donnie? Like, you can't decipher that? Maybe he should have go find them on himself. By himself. Well, I had water in my ears. <laughs> really sound like voices. Felt like voices. <laughs> I'm also under a curse right now, so maybe I'm not thinking entirely clearly. Are you still cursed? I, no. We didn't long rest yet. No, you're not. Am I, I'm free of the curse? All right. You guys took a 20 since the battle, so you're fine. Okay. I was going to say, either that or, you know, Demi could despell him. Wait, didn't I say when you guys started that we... That we rested. Yes, you did. That you guys just woke up? Yeah, oh, because yeah. I, I fixed my stats. No, I healed oh. myself. You did indeed. All right. Well, my stats have been readjusted then. I am. Okay, down the road we go, Gnome Face. Hopefully, a uh, less intimidating adventure awaits. Oh, adventure is adventure. <laughs> By the way, it's a raid. <laughs> did you guys have your steeds beforehand? I did. Yeah, it was uh, before the graveyard. I don't ah. know what we did with him. Well, I'm going to say you kind of like left them at the beginning. Well, okay. shit. But okay. mine's a trained animal. Okay, okay. Here, here. Uh, How many people are in chat? Are there anyone in chat? Doesn't look like it. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll do this. I'll roll a D100. If, yeah, if it's above fifty, you guys left them at the exit gate because you guys walked through with them initially. If it's below a hundred, you guys left them at the gate that you entered at. Okay. Agree. Okay. What to modify wait. a single? What? I was looking at these points I have, because I have like a thousand points on your channel. And it said modify a single, but then I rolled down and it said emote. Yeah. What the fuck is the point of modifying an emote for 900 points? Those are default reward things. Yeah. So like emotes, um, this is one that I made. It, it's a lot better if you can actually, see, oh yeah, you can click on it and see the full picture. Mm-hmm. Um, like that's an emote, so you can actually like modify one and it'll save. Um, okay, sorry, I got distracted. Shiny new things. Okay, so if it's above 100, what? It, it okay, if it's above 50, you guys left your steeds at the exit gate, so you could have picked them up on the way out. Okay, if it's below 50, you guys left them at the entry gate. Can I also make a handle animal check alongside this since I do actually have, you know, a trained steed to benefit my portion of the role? Sure. It's level two. An 
eight. Well, it was 90 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys uh, have your seeds like tied off on the tree and everything so you can mount them and hit the road whenever you're ready. Very convenient and intelligent animals, these steeds. Maybe Indeed. for once I'll tip an NPC. Well, that, it couldn't hurt your charisma. You're, you're very, very abysmal no charisma. Face, there's a difference between charisma and being a doormat. You could be a charismatic asshole. That was me. Also, you could also be a very uncharismatic nice person who gives everything everybody, to everybody and is a complete pushover. Well, I'm a charismatic asshole. I walked around calling that one lady Tits McGee for how long, and she loved me. Yeah. I don't know why your uh, charisma didn't drop like mine. You were much meaner to the NPCs than I was. But she had giant tits, and she was a slut. She loved it. Okay, You, you sure. gotta learn to read people. It's unfair. I stand by it. It's not hey, uncharismatic do... of me to be mean to NPCs. I didn't yeah, have her. anything to say in that. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Owen, look at this. It's on my screen now. I think you uh, would, like, love this. It's like exercise and a video game. What are you... Uh, I shared my screen. You should be able to see it on Discord. Okay, I'm watching... Watch stream. That does look cool. I think you would love that, man. Like, it's a video game that you get a workout with. That could be cool. Well, you always talk about how you want your time back. So there you go. Okay. I got to stop that share now. Stop. In the name of stopping. There we go. I just wish I had a more open room to do something like that in. Yeah. Why don't you school. clear out the, the ottoman in your living room? I've thought about it. Put, put put a screen in the backyard. Bring it. Bring a lap or bring a screen outside. That's a good idea. Put it on your porch. Take a I screen outside about, on your porch. I thought about expanding the roof over my porch so I could have like um, you know, like an outdoor deck or something. You know. Mm -hmm. I thought about that. Well, you don't I, even have to do a full roof. You could do like one of those uh, autumn those. They're like. Tent flaps that roll in and out of your they out of their casing, so you can put it away if it's nice and sunny out, or pull it out if it's fucking shitty out. Yeah, I, I'm pretty bad at managing my yards. So I was hoping for something a bit more weatherproof. Yeah. Set it and forget it, you know. Yeah, I get you. Sorry, I know I distracted us. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> after my meta complaining about my my charisma stat drop, well, it, it wasn't. To be fair, <laughs> it wasn't really meta because we are inside of a game. Oh, uh, that's true. It wasn't meta. It was completely in character. Yeah. <laughs> At that time, you weren't being meta. I can't even tell the difference anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just, just when you ask yourself, am I being meta? Most of the time, it's a yes. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've come to terms with that. <laughs> I accept it. All right. Okay. So we mount up. I, uh, Demi sits behind me. And we get on our way. Yep, yeah, well, let's mosey on. Hi ho, silver away. So you guys are walk trotting, galloping, running. I just he just cut out. <laughs> yeah, I think he left again. I am not leaving. My cord is dying. Well, that's not good. Uh yeah, I I, I tried a couple different cords, but like it didn't it work initially. But maybe I should try them all again. Anyways. So. You guys travel. What, a couple hours. It's about midday now. And you guys get to a nice embankment. With a. 
a bridge that crosses an a decent uh running river. Oh, um, I um hmm. It looks like a very sturdy bridge, doesn't it? Let me do a perception check cuz that's my <laughs> first instinct is to trust the bridge. I better look at it anyways. I roll a 19. I stop and look around when we hit the bridge. The bridge will support all you guys. It's it's a very sturdy bridge. This is my thoughts exactly. No face. Why are we stopping? Let's carry on. I never said we were stopping. You seem to pause for a second. In my brain? You can't read my brain. <laughs> Maybe uh maybe we're growing a psychic link. Oh, oh god. god no. <laughs> Anyways, does anybody oppose crossing this bridge? Willow no. chimes in like um yeah, can we stop? Take a break. We've been on the road for 4 hours. It'd be nice to sit down and actually eat instead of having to eat while riding. I, I suppose. I never uh, figured that to be a thing that would bother you, Willow. Why not? Yeah, it just seemed like uh, you were a bit hardier than that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but even a hardy person can enjoy sitting down and relaxing while they eat versus having to do three things at once while they eat. Fair enough. I suppose we can take a breather. I do really want to bash in this uh, this Simbad or whatever his name is. Mufasa. Mufasa. R wrong genre there, man. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, but, this way, Dianasia can actually wash up. And she tries to push up. you into the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I get it. Maybe that shower dance wasn't the most thorough cleaning. No, I pretty much just got you wet. It wasn't like okay. a thunderstorm that kind of drenched you in like two seconds. And Alrighty, besides, so. the shower dance isn't going to get on the in all the crooks and crannies. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Like, you got to get inside the cracks. And judging by the size of He-Man, he's got a pretty large crack. I got a crack the size of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's quite a view, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get in the water. All right. <laughs> well, okay. I, I get in the water while everybody's uh, kind of, you know, hunkered down. So you guys sit down, you eat, you have a nice... Have a nice meal. Uh, Donnie, roll a reflex check. Uh oh. <laughs> 13. Uh. Oh, sorry, you take three damage. All of a sudden, a spark just, you, you feel like a bite and just come right at you. You feel a little jolt in your spine. Uh, oh, I, I try to get out of the water. I try to rush out. I don't like the thought of anything bad happening to me while I'm in a running river. As he clambers out of the water, I kind of point at him and go, <laughs> you got a tiny wiener. What? You, you didn't see anything. Why are you looking? If you were looking, you would know that's not true. Just start cracking up and rolling on, on the ground. <laughs> Darn it. Frick is frack is frickin'. I inspect my body to see if I can figure out what hit me or bit me. Struck me. Nice. <laughs> you have oh. no idea where that came from. 
<laughs> this guy's got a tattoo. It's supposed to say the pen is mightier than the sword. But it totally says the penis is mightier than the sword. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh... I, I, I raise my shirt, and I, <laughs> I say, no face. What is this wound? I kind of chuckle, and I got... It looks a little bit like a lightning bolt. Uh, While you guys are saying that, uh, Willow comes up and like, Donnie, are you done in there now? Uh, Yeah, I do believe I'm done. Okay, carry on. And then she walks the away towards the river. Be careful, there might be lightning bolts swimming in there. Uh, she didn't give you a chance to reply. <laughs> she said carry no. on as she was like halfway to the river. No. So ca carry on your conversation. No, hopefully she doesn't get, uh, you know, struck by a, a school of lightning bolts. <laughs> I kind of wave it off. But I go, ah, she'll probably be fine. I swear, I didn't even know those things could exist in water. <laughs> Aquatic lightning bolts. <laughs> You'd be surprised. So, you guys are. Uh, I, I kind of, I kind of smile and I go. You seem to be getting a lot of lightning bolts out of nowhere, man. You got, you got some strange issues. Is one of your armors like cursed or something? Not to my knowledge. They're all rather uh, mundane, as far as I'm aware. Mm. That's true. I do have that bone sword I haven't used. <laughs> I inspect a bone sword, I guess, see if anything stands out. <laughs> Drill for it. 19. You, you feel like there's more to this bone sword besides just something to hit people with, but you don't know for certain. You, you don't think it's lightning, though. Uh, I wish I understood magic at least a little bit. If this thing could hit things better because of magic, I might be more interested. Oh, why don't you ask your companion who's, you know, actually good at magic, you big fucking doofus? Willow knows magic? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I look at him, I turn around, and I walk away. I, I, I don't even wait. I just walk <laughs> away. Wait, no face. I just thought of something. Nope. I have a friend who knows magic. <laughs> I flip him off as I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. maybe later. <laughs> I, I finish my lunch and remount Demon with Demi, and I leave him to his own. <laughs> Darn. Guess this bone sword is a mystery to be solved another day. I, uh, are you crossing the river? Yeah. Yeah, crossing the river. Well, not you, Donnie. So, Gnome Face is just mad at Donnie and mounts his steed and just in for in like confusement, anger, and frustration, and just crosses the river. You don't even notice Willow getting out of the creek after taking a bath or washing oh. up in the bath or in the creek. <laughs> she joins in. With uh, Demi and Donnie at the where you guys were like sitting down, it's like, um, where's Gnome Face? Ah, uh, feel free, Gnome Face. Feel free to play as Demi for this if you'd like. Uh, she she kind of goes. Uh, he got his uh, he got his feelings hurt by a certain somebody, so he went off to pout for a little bit. Exactly. I couldn't have worded it better myself. She glares at you for, you know, the fact that you're the one who hurt his feelings. Uh, I didn't mean nothing by it. Uh, <laughs> Will is like, oh, wait, well, what upset that man that I he was, just ran off? I was uh, expecting your own sword, and the first person I thought to ask about his magical properties was you instead of him. I know it didn't make sense, but in the moment, that's where my head was at. Uh, she 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 just kind of looks. Willow looks at Dying Danger, just dumbfounded. 
she just yeah. st- she just stares at you like and she chimes in so you decided to ask someone who went for a dex build to inspect the magic of your sword versus someone who went a magic build yeah i wasn't and exactly- also the person who you've you know been training with what the last two months versus someone that you've been training with for the last like nine i don't know the actual time that this has taken place i don't know expect everybody to take the so so to heart clearly i was mistaken uh will was like i'm not taking it to heart i'm just astonished at that point but uh, at that, Demi chimes in. Uh, you know, uh, he, he, Gnome Face does call him Big Doofus after all. Will's like, yeah. Well, we might as well catch up to him. Uh, Demi, you can jump on the back of my horse while we. I don't wait to catch up. I also have a zero int modifier and a plus one wisdom modifier. So. <laughs> yeah, there's that. All right. Okay. If you're sick of, if you're gonna keep complaining about your modifiers, I'm just gonna full on re-roll all the modifiers, and you're gonna get what you get. I'm not complaining. I'm just making an excuse for my behavior. It's different. Um. I don't believe. <laughs> okay. So. The rest of the group crosses the bridge without any worries because this thing's solid and catches up to Gnome Face on the other side. All right. All caught up. How's it going, Gnome Face? I, uh... I just start smiling, and I go, you catch any more lightning bolts yet? I wonder how many you'll get on this trip. They were only in the water. Don't be silly. (laughs) Willow and Demi just keep riding as you guys are talking. Unless those lightning (laughs) bolts are amphibious. I might need to be on the lookout. Uh, 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 we keep uh, I keep riding. I peer around cautiously, looking for rogue lightning bolts. All right, as you guys are going. Oh wait, one okay. Um, I wrong one. I'm gonna put you guys here. Are you really? You betcha. Uh, and then you guys approach the the front gate gate. of a of what looks to be like a city so yeah that happened ooh you know what the best thing is is I can see your map that's fine. You're gonna see it in like three seconds if you decide to enter. <laughs> I was well, yeah. For a while, because I was looking at the uh, roll twenty map. I'm like, you didn't move us anywhere. Yeah, we haven't gone anywhere. But if you look at the Twitch, oh. you can see his well, map. Well, there you go. <laughs> Cheating. See now, hammer fell. Okay, are you guys? You approach a city, and you guys are gonna stare at the ground. Like what? Like I the, said, I a, enter. Did you not hear me go? I enter. No, I heard that you were w- watching Twitch instead of playing. Oh, <laughs> well, I said I enter before because I accidentally clicked on clicked on your Twitch instead of uh, SS instead of Roll Twenty. And, wait. Uh, yeah, but I did say I enter. Wait, wait a minute. There's no stable for the, you know the mounts. There's no guards. The gates are just open. No, there's a guard there, and 
the the, the guard stops gnome face and says yeah, hey girl, you're not allowed you no he he stops you and says hey you're not allowed to ride inside the city well while he starts saying that i start saying how do you do and then i stop myself as he's talking and i go okay um do you have a stable of some sort where i could stable my fine beast of burden he goes there's hitches at uh there's hitches at pretty much every building you just aren't allowed to ride while inside the city oh understand i dismount yeah i dismount did you say hitchers at every building or hitches, hitches. Oh. Like like horse- uh, old western hitches for cow horses. Oh, okay. So we walk our mounts through the city. Yes. Yep. Okay. So this is Hammerfell. It's a small little city. Town. Along the path. Is it a blacksmith town? It should so be a blacksmith town. Well, actually, technically that's not a gate. So. That is a wall. Yep. Well. Uh, I'm gonna move you guys over here. So, are these districts? Are we following the actual guideline that's on the map, or are you gonna make it? Sure, up go right ahead. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to clarify, man. I'm, no, I I answered your question, did I not? You kind of you kind of sounded testy. Either way, nope. Andrew. Something about the city seems to be of uh, little consequence or importance. <laughs> it's a town called Hammerfell. You're a smith in training. You should be excited. Mm. We'll see how long our stay is here. I am okay. excited about bashing in uh, King King Wenceslav. Um, Mufasa. To Mufasa. How are you forgetting this? You're not even drinking tonight. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Okay, I'm gonna go to numero. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk. You know, just walk up through the center of town with my beast, my demon. People give you looks because normally they don't normally see a electric lizard walking through town. It's usually. It's usually just horses that people are walking. I'm slightly offended. People are more captivated by a <laughs> electric lizard than by my glorious physique. By in all fairness, my electric lizard is also huge. Oh, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> when I get to the center of town, I want to look for like some people who are possibly like if this is a fountain or what does it say that is? It says it's Grimble's Rest. I don't know what that means. Um, like if there's people congregating around the center of town, I want to, uh, start asking about the town, like what's there to do here? Where do we stay? Um, how much do they know about Mufasa? You know, general questions. Yeah. Uh, it's a solid game plan. I mean, so, okay, there's people on about, it kind of looks... It looks weird because it's kind of a, almost a cheery town. But then mm-hmm. again, people are not looking too happy. Like, it's cheery in the fact that there's people walking around and whatever. But, like, yeah, no no one really seems happy. Hey. Uh, why does everyone around here look so glum? I, I look to the nearest passerby. Something wrong, um, fella. Before he goes into that, do I get any answers to the questions I asked, or no? Um, they say, well, you stay at the end like most people. Um, I missed the other ones. Uh, what is there to do around here? Um, also, do they know anything about like uh, Mufasa or the Brockhart Empire? Oh, okay. So they're like, well... Normally at nights, there's uh, where the restaurants are. They they have like pop up outdoor ones, like p- p- little stalls that people cook at. They have music, um, and also there's like a library in here. There's 
It depends on what you want. You can go shopping. A couple of different shops. But most of the people are here making, you know, just living. Um, I- we normally stay, try to stay out of, like, the what's between Brockhart and Mufasa. But we, we are under the influence of Mufasa. We are in his area. We're, we're kind of in, like, the divided area. I'm sure if you got which gate do you come from the south gate um i'm gonna imagine gnome face said that and so they replied to gnome face oh so yeah you must have came through the graveyard um yeah that's that's where mufasa's territory once stretched to oh i i asked uh why did it uh like what happened there what do you mean well, why did it once stretch there, but now it's full of evil undead people? Um, they 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 get they're like ready to answer your first questions, but then they look at you confused at the second one. They're like, um, well, you, I mean, Mufasa and has been fighting with his brother, and so Mufasa kind of lost his, some of his territory. Um, I don't know the details. I was never involved in it. Um, some say that his brother took it over. Some people say that they annexed. They just left. They seceded. That's all very good information. Thank you. Um, I am also, um, a sort of magician and fighter in training myself. Do you guys have any shops that cater to my kind of adventure or, um, no. I was going to try to think of an old timey way to say that, but I forgot. The person goes, um, I, I, you'd have to look around. I'm not exactly sure what you're looking for. I'm looking for someone. So I'll, uh, I, I, I can't really help you there. Uh, then you can go on to Donnie Danger's inquiries from there. I'm assuming I heard most of that conversation, seeing as how I had nothing to do but stand there and watch. Um, sure. So I, I, I look to uh, one of the Glum passerbys and say, What's wrong, fella? Sounds like you guys uh, don't, don't really trouble yourselves with a lot of the politics outside, and the city seems quite prosperous with plenty of amenities, and yet people of this town seem quite dour. What ills this village? The the person goes through that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I could help, but I'm looking for someone. I gotta go. Well, that's what the other guy said. Is everybody yeah, I was gonna say, do I do I hear that? Or <laughs> no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I look at Donnie Danger and I'm like, hmm. two people looking for someone. Is this a coinky dink? I go to uh I go to a third person. I go, are you looking for somebody? <laughs> they go, uh, yeah, I'm looking for my son. Have you seen him? Have you I seen, a, a, have you seen a, like, teenage boy just confused or anything running around? Mm, not lately, no. Um, but I will definitely keep my eye out. Are all the children of this village missing? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I... I, I gotta find my son, and sh- she walks away. I, I look at Donnie Danger, and I go, I think all the children in this village are missing. Uh, just, just once more for good measure. Hello, uh, sir and or ma'am, are you looking for somebody? <laughs> I'm going to the next person we haven't talked to. He, he, the next person that walks by is a kind of youngish person. You, you'd say about like a teenager. If you'd like to introduce yourself in the same way um hello uh sorry to interrupt your day i am a humble adventurer and i was hoping to inquire as to whether you were uh, just so happy to be looking for somebody uh the the kid like teenagers like um yeah i'm looking for my dad he said he was going outside the city but i he was supposed to be back by now and so it's oh. not just kids Sorry, thinking out loud, my bad. Everybody in the city missing a significant other? Uh, it seems like it's 
somehow related. Uh, they were both sons, and this one is a father. Um, I never said the first one was a son. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. I said that all I said was they were looking for someone. Okay. Uh, first one yeah, you're right. You, you're right. You did. It was just I'm looking for someone. Um. Hmm. Um. I thought I. I kind of ponder this in my head mostly. I'm not actually talking to Dottie Danger right now. I, I go to the kid and I'm go. Uh, about where? What direction did your father leave town? Uh, he, he went out the east gate. Uh, the east gate. Have a lot of villagers been exiting out of the east gate without returning? Uh, I, I don't know. Hey. I'm, I, I, I switch the question. I go, um, uh, what was he doing? Was he going out to hunt or was there something he was specifically after? He he said something about talking to a man about a horse. A man about a horse. Okay. Uh... A very uh, uh, dotted landscape of clues we're retrieving. Maybe we could go somewhere more official, known face like town hall. Oh uh, yeah, but I still want to at least spend the night here in this village. Uh, why don't we split up? I'm going to go check out some of the shops. Maybe I can talk to some of the regular peoples, and you're welcome to venture where you will. Yeah, so I'm going to inquire somebody who might be a bit more forthcoming about, you know, what's going on here. I, I warn him before I leave, and I go, I'm just saying this sounds super magical because everybody is almost clueless, and they all say the same thing. So don't be discouraged if you can't find something out. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they don't get offended when you ask them questions about, you know, what's going on, so I don't have to worry about getting locked up. <laughs> yeah, well, you uh, don't ask questions that you're told not to ask. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, I had, um, I had down the street. Uh, me and Demi are going to go this nope. way. I... No? Am I not allowed? I head this way? Am I allowed? <laughs> Assuming Willow might want to follow? I got told no. Are we allowed these things? I don't know. Anyway. Sorry, my head's are cut out. Go back. Quit moving your guys. Go back. You were only halfway down the street. You didn't even get to the center of the city yet. I was too at the center of the city. I was right there. No, you went too far forward. I moved you backwards because you guys weren't that far. When you guys were talking to people, you guys were... Eh, 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 eh. Down, uh, like there. Uh, well, I'll say <laughs> there, because you guys are cl you guys are actually like clumped up. So, you, you guys are kind of like that, except in the. Oh, see, I specifically remember saying I went to the center of town. He did say that. I did not hear that. So you were there. Well, <laughs> so it's my fault you didn't hear, huh? No, but I came up with something to happen when you got to the center of the city and you guys left your token. Your token was, was I only moved it like one square back. You you were like right there. I was right there. But either way, I, I accept the DM's law. So I, like I said, I suggest to Donnie Danger we split up. I start heading forward. So I get to the center of town and boom. <laughs> we are at the center of town. Yeah, I was heading that way too. Oh, I thought you yeah, said you were going to go to the. He was going to go to the left. I was going to go to the right from the center. Yeah, I, I was heading this way. He was heading this way. I was heading to this building specifically, town hall. I was heading to number three specifically, the bookstore. Okay, fair. So you guys get to the center of the city, and you see a a man playing a guitar, or I guess a lute would be. Oh, is he singing? Give a coin to your witcher. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll sing it, and I'll tell you if it's yes or no. I'm not singing it. I'm nowhere near that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched that series for a long time, so I he's can't... playing Aww. a tune on the lute. Playing a ditty. Do -do 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 <laughs> All right, so he's playing a ditty. Do you guys stop and listen, or do you walk along the way? Uh, I stop and listen. Stop and listen too. I haven't seen anybody playing any music around these parts, or at all. 
during our adventure. Okay, he keeps playing, and then he finishes his song. Come on, Please, sir. Uh, I'll some five Floyds because I enjoyed the song. He goes, ah, oh, thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Ask, are you perhaps a bard or just a hobbyist? Oh, I'm I'm training to be a bard. I, I I'm almost there. I just need a. I, I want to go adventuring, but I, I just need a few more things, a few more preparations, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Well, it's refreshing to see a little bit of variety around here. I see nothing but barbarians, rogues, and sorcerers. Yeah, most people like to play the smashing and hitting and you know attacking people. Not too many people support. like the uh, more support characters that can also kick some ass once in a while. Yes, of course I'm guilty of it too, but props to you, sir. I toss him two Floyds. Yeah. Uh, what would you guys like to hear anything specific? Uh, I actually query for the tale of the graveyard. The tale of the graveyard? Yes. The graveyard to the south of here. Is there a, is there a tale or song about that? Um, let me think. And he ponders for a couple minutes. And say, well, there's this one that someone taught me when I was young. And then he uh, starts playing it. Um, I'm not going to be singing anything for you guys, but come on. It, it, it come. It's kind of like Ring Around the Rosie, mm -hmm. where it sounds cheery, but then you listen to the words, the chorus a little bit. And you don't like it. It tells a story about a keeper of the graveyard uh, with all magic, all mighty powers. And well, with, with mighty powers. Who oh. the only people who are allowed to go in the graveyard are the people resting other people, or are the people putting people at rest. If other people go through the graveyard then they're either not from not of celestial they're either a celestial being or they don't make it through okay hey, that gnome face next time we go there we got to bring a dead bandit we could probably pull that off <laughs> gotta pay the toll <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh okay well that's all i got what do you got doofus well I was going to go on to Town Hall, but you do seem like an adventurer here, Bard, sir. I wasn't sure if you caught on to any odd goings on around this town. Uh, he goes to you, looks at you a little weird, and he's like, if you have something to ask me, just ask me, man. Okay. Maybe more direct. Have you noticed that everybody in this town looks clueless, lost, and like they're looking for somebody? Clueless, no. Lost, no. Looking for someone, yes. Hmm. Do you have any idea what's up with that? Uh. If you stick around for another song. <laughs> I got right five away. Floyds again right away. I chuck him five as well. Ah, oh, thank you very much. And then he plays a nice little pirate shanty. Um, you recognize it from your old world as your mind is re recollecting. Uh, it's a drunken sailor. <laughs> okay. He gets on. He's like, ah, oh, sorry. I, I just really like that song. And uh, it's good when you want to get your brain thinking. It's a good song. I can't lie. It is a good song. It's an awfully energetic town for this dower town. <laughs> it is a very energetic song for this dower town, though. Well, Usually something that is played at parties. Well, I mean, I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits lifted. As you said yourself, everyone's looking for someone. That If, if, if no one's, you know, keeping their spirits lifted, then it's going to get dreary in here really fast. True that. 
But to answer your question, um, yeah, a lot of people have gone missing lately. Have they um, all gone out the Eastern Gate? Uh, I think maybe the majority went that way because that was the shortest route. But I mean, they've gone; they just left the city and haven't come back. The shortest route to where? I don't know. I never went looking because I didn't want to disappear. But you just you said the want... shortest route. That means you know something. I mean, come on, man. I've tipped you 10 Floyds already. You're a good artist. Don't leave me hanging. I'm. You see me. I'm sitting here. I'm standing here trying to make a living playing songs. I hear a couple things every once in a while. And I'm telling you what I know. I heard a lot of people went and they're like, hey, let's leave the East Gate because it's the shortest way there. And that's all I cared to know because I wasn't going to go. Do you know if they gathered in a certain area of town before they found out where this magnanimous is there is? I mean, usually people gather around here. It, this is a pretty large town circle. It's the center of town. Why wouldn't people meet at the center of town? Well, I more so meant like if they were coming from the bar or of the local inn or if it was just all from random directions and then you hear them as they head out. Ah. Uh, no. But, eh. I don't know. I'm feeling another song coming on. Uh, I've tossed him five, five Floyd. Like, I only tossed him two this time because he's leading us on. I want him to be forthcoming. I know he's he's being a bit of a he's a, being a tease right now, but he plays something I, I, intense. I, I as I toss him to it, we don't have the right questions, but maybe you have a good answer for us <laughs> after this last song. Was that the nineteen that you just rolled? Oh, I no. Okay. Um, so he plays a song that sounds pretty intense, but gets uplifting at the end. And he goes, um, so yeah, congregation of beans. I mean, they normally congregate at bars and uh, inns because there's a bar in there. Center of town. Um, I feel like if whoever or whatever is convincing them to go to the place that they're going... Uh, would probably approach them probably easiest at the bar. Uh, that would be open later tonight. It's open right now. Mm-hmm. Bars are always open, Gnome Face. <laughs> well, the exciting ones, at least. All right, and the town bar is Bilbin's No. The closest thing I'm seeing is number seven. Philpin's Bazaar. Yeah. Well, I guess going to the Traveler's Rest then is the other option. Well, the Bazaar is a place for shops. Yeah. I always just like the way Bazaar sounded, so I guess I was drawn to it. Um, It, A Bazaar is more like a strip mall. Yeah, it's true. Okay, well, what was the other place? The inn. Uh, rest inn, yeah. yeah. Yeah, inns usually have a little bit of a bar inside of them. Let's go to the inn. Number two. Oh, we passed it. It was right on our way uh, inside. Well, I actually don't want to travel to the inn yet. I do still want to travel to the Books and Tomes. I'm not going to be investigating some sort of enchanted... You know, you know, sweet talker without gnome face. So, I guess I'll just follow you around. Pose. Maybe I'll find a piece of literature I'll actually like. I I kind of look back over my shoulder as I enter the bookstore, and I go, "Can you even read?" I don't know. I've never tried. Willow. Hey, Willow. Oh wait, yeah, I did try a while ago. Will it decide to go to the bar? But I didn't read the book. It just had a lot of pictures in it that I like looking at. Wait, I gotta do something, don't face. Can't let Willow get taken away. 
I shrug and I enter the bookstore with uh with Demi. No face. You I mean, uh, Willow, you can't be doing things like that. What doing this what? Person, this person gets you alone. Maybe they're a wizard. Maybe some sort of demon. Well, I was looking for answers, and I could use a drink. Because we were traveling half the day with someone who smelled like they crapped their pants. I don't smell like that anymore. Well, for the last two hours, but the first four hours? Okay, well, let's give it a little bit of a drink, you know, cleanse our palates, our noses, uh, and maybe maybe we'll catch something here. All right, who's going first? Uh, I don't think you can go first. I'm texting. Okay. So, Will will probably walk to the bar before me as I catch up to her. And I enter. The place you walk in and you see a few people in the bar at tables. Uh, one or two at the bar. And you see Willow chilling at the bar having a drink. Chatting up the bartender. <laughs> Uh, wow, awfully chatty. Um, I, I, I she goes, Are you talking know? to me? No, no, I was just thinking in my head. I was internal monologuing. Oh, well, I'm it came a, out I'm your just... mouth, so that was external talking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sit at the table and listen in on a conversation <laughs> unless Willow tries to shoo me away. Now, are you sitting at a table, like you're just sitting at a table that other people are at, or are you, like, actually uh, sit sitting at, at your table. own table and eavesdropping on people? I'll sit at a table that other people are at. I mean, I want to hear the talk of the town, whether it's from the barkeeper Willow's talking to. I kind of want to hear what she talks to when she's making small talk. But I'll take anything that comes my way. So, you sit down and... You sit down at a table with two people that, two gentlemen talking, and they uh, they stop talking and kind of like look at you as you sit down. Is everything okay, gentlemen? Someone looks at you like, "What a weird thing to start with, isn't it?" He says to his buddy. <laughs> you guys looked at me like there was something in my eye. Um, then, yeah, there's, like, half the tables open in this place, and you sat down by us, uh, so we figured you had business with us, or well, that you I were going to lead off with something because you approached us first. I guess that's a very fair point. Uh, let us start over. Um, uh, I was hoping to, you know, catch some word of town. I'm a, I'm a passerby here. I was, uh... You notice a lot of people at town are looking for people, you know? Missing individuals seem to be a, kind of a running theme here. I was wondering if you guys knew anything about that. I mean, people come and go, so they could be considered missing. Um, people leave and don't come back for a while, so they could be missing. You're going to have to be more specific, sir. Not just missing. Most of the people in this village seem to be looking for somebody. Everybody I've talked to up to this point. Speaking of, are you guys looking for somebody? No. And besides, no. who are you? Like I said, a passing adventurer. Donnie Danger. I'll probably become a household name eventually. Okay, Mr. Danger, do you normally just go up to random people and ask them if they're missing or looking for someone? I do try to be really direct. Um, but not everywhere, just this city. This is the first city I've done that in. Oh, well, no, neither one of us are looking for anyone. Um... If you don't mind, we'd like to go back to the conversation we were having. It's nice to meet you, though. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I go over to the table that Willow's at. You know, I 
I kind of ease myself in. I get ready to order a drink. All right, you sit down, and the bartender finishes up his what he was saying to Willow, and he's like, "Welcome, sir. What can I get you?" Oh, just a simple ale. And he he is like, "Okay, we have these four different types of ales. Which one would you like?" Uh, something mild. I don't really want to, you know, go overboard tonight. No. He. He pours you a mug and hands it to you. He's like, that'd be uh, f- eight Floyds. Wow. Oh, inflation's a hell of a thing. Here you go, good sir. What do you mean inflation? Oh, but I'm, thank thinking you. Of, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, Kenny's campaign where uh, beer used to cost copper and then it turned into like silver at some point, I think. Yeah, I... Uh, don't know what you're talking about, but this is a small town, so if you want cheap cheap alcohol, you're going to have to go to probably the major city. Uh, that's fine. Do I have a constant monologue? You know, is my internal monologue always out loud? <laughs> um, Unless you I... state otherwise, yes. The, 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 the bartender responds like, I don't know how to answer that. Darn. This is quite a curse. I'll have to be much more careful about what I say. Sorry about that. Uh, It's all right. Enjoy your drink, sir. And he goes back to talking to uh, Willow. Damn it, I got my Skittle bite. No, I thought he was done talking to Willow. No, you just sat down and so you were a customer that he needed to serve. Okay, well, I start sipping on my ale. Yeah, maybe I catch part of the conversation, maybe I don't. So you're listening to what they're talking about? Yep. Okay. So Willa and him are talking, and he's describing uh, kind of what the average life is in this town. What, uh, because it's a small town, like what types of professions are around here? Um, and how much interaction they do with the major city. Oh, <laughs> enchanting conversation. If I do say that out loud, I say it very quietly. Good correction. Um, <laughs> she, she follows that up with, like, are there any, like, clubs or gangs in the nearby area since they like to settle on near small towns? Um, and he responds, like, ah. Oh, no, well, eh, mm, I wouldn't say gangs, but it, it seemed to me like this cult popped up, like, just outside of town. And Willow's like, oh, eh, describe some of that. And then he goes, he, he, uh, he checks who's at the bar and he's like, okay, so this is what I've heard. And he kind of like says it kind of quietly to Willow so that, you know, being careful of who's around listening. <laughs> well, he was trying to be very discreet. Uh, I'm at the same table. It'd be kind of weird if I wasn't curious, right? You're at the roll. bar. Oh, I'm at the bar. Oh. No, I know not I don't, I don't want to be super obvious. I'll just ask Willow what she heard when we get out. And I'll order another drink to bide my time. Alright, you do that. We'll switch to uh, Gnome Face and Demi. Okay. Um, I walk into um, into the bookstore. I'm holding Demi's hand. We walk in together. Here I go. You've been doing a lot more as we add to that, casu- casually speaking to her, I go, you've been doing a lot more um, offensive than healing lately since the doofus has learned to take a hit pretty well. Um, do you want to peruse for maybe some offensive magic or do you want to maybe go with some more support type magic if we can find them? Uh, 
she goes, ah, uh, yeah, some support ones would be pretty good. Okay, well, maybe we can turn your protection into something more like a barrier for deflecting range attacks, since the one you have does just basic physical damage reduction. Being able to deflect a range attack would be really nice. Um, and I... Uh, so as we're walking in and we're discussing these things, I head to the the counter and I I look for the shopkeep. Uh, I mean, there's a uh, little sign that says "Ring the Bell" for service. I ring the bell. You hear from a distant in the uh, somewhere like hidden. She's like, "All right, come in one second. And then in comes Wildling, little gnome. Hey, um, ah, gnome's rule. Why, hello there, sir. How are you? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Gnomes are very fantastic. Uh, what what can I do you guys for? <laughs> I chuckle, and I hold my hand out for a fist bump. Uh, I, 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 sir, I don't know what you were asking with that. Oh, I go, just do the same thing I'm doing and tap your fist against mine. Come on, you gotta do the fist bump. He, like, looks at his hand and he, like, slowly, almost cautiously, like, taps your fist. He's like, that was different. <laughs> uh, and then I get, I, I, I smile and I laugh and I go, okay, so, well, uh, we're looking, my lovely lady here already has a basic protect spell. And I don't know if you sell any tomes in regards to spells, but she is looking for possibly a barrier type spell to deflect range attacks that are being shot at her because she does happen to stay in the back more often than not. Uh, let me look. Um, yes, yes, there's a. There's a here. The, uh, one second. Any. Kind of runs off, climb. You hear like a ladder shuffling around, rolling around, and then uh, he's like, "Ah, right here." Come and then he comes back holding a tome. He's like, so here, this one, it, it's a uh, it, it 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 describes two different spells. It's a or three different spells. It's a uh, there's one that's called the wall. Or a wall spell, it it can actually like put a like semi physical wall in between. I mean, magical, of course. Uh, and then there's a reflect spell. Those are uh, the wall or the wall is physical and magical. The reflect spell will just let spells bounce off you. But there's also a protect. Um, it's a projectile. It's a piercing. It Blocks piercing, since a normal protect only does slashing and bludgeoning. Um, you said the wall one is the one that does the redirecting like I'm looking for? No. No, you didn't? The wall kind of like makes a magical wall appear in front. You reflect, which bounces spells off of you. That's the one. Go for and, the reflect. And then a... Um, then a, I don't know what to call it, but it's, it's specifically like piercing damage that you normally find from arrows. Mm -hmm. I know what you meant, uh, but I, I want the, the ability to reflect. So we'll go with the reflect spell for her. Um, well it's, sir, you, you misunderstand me. It, it's one tome, but you can learn all three of them from it. Oh. I did misunderstand. That is great news. I will definitely be buying that tome. All right. And for you, miss? Well, that, that was for her. Um, for me, I'm going to be looking for... Um, I forgot what I was working on. Oh no, I actually don't need any actual spells. Um 
Do you have any tomes on advanced mana control? Um, I'm already decent with my own mana, but I would like to get finer control of my mana and try to... There, I have an idea for this, but I really can't word it right now. Can you hear me? No, I'm I'm waiting. Yeah, for a... but I I thought you had more to say. No, no, that's it. Like basically, I want a tome for advanced mana control, and I do have an idea that I want to run past you for this, but I honestly can't think of the words right now. Okay. What do you want it to do? Uh, basically, I want to be able to adjust spells on the fly without creating new spells, but to be able to do like minor adjustments on kind the fly like, for like an extra mana cost. Kind of like what I was trying to do with Drew, like just use a spell of a different element or something. Something I, I already know, but modified. More like what I actually suggested you to do with Drew, where you change like the shape or the the slight purpose of the spell instead of like the element like for for my firebolt instead of a bolt change it into a javelin of sorts but i don't want to lose my firebolt spell or start working on another spell i just want to be able to tweak the spell to turn it from like explosion damage to piercing damage you know what i mean yeah it could be cool maybe i could apply that to some of my physical skills if that's a thing well, that, that's that's what I'm thinking. The the librarian thinks and thinks. He's like, sir, I I think I know what you're talking about, but we we don't have anything that advanced. We we yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but we're just a small town. Uh, okay. you're gonna have to go with something with a either a trainer or a more extensive library for that. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Then you're welcome. Anything else? Well, how much for the the book I bought for my lady friend? Um It's like, oh, uh, what is that? Three spell um, A thousand Floyds. Sounds like a deal. Thousand for a book. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I pay him the thousand Floyds easily, and I uh, hand the book to Demi, and I go. I hope this helps keep you alive. She goes. Well. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna get to start reading on them later today. My uh, uh, my trainer's gonna be so proud if I can learn a new spell by the time I get back. Yeah, yeah, that priest lady seemed pretty strict. All right, uh, is that it then? Yeah, that's it for me. So okay, that'd be about the same timeline. Okay. Donnie, are you or no face? Yeah. Are you gonna plan the head to the inn after that? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to start heading to the end. Donnie, are you going to sit there, or are you going to talk to other people, or are you just going to sit there and drink? Uh, I say to Willow, uh, there was something I forgot I had to do in town. Uh, enjoy uh, your time here. And, uh, you know, I finished my second mug. Uh, oh, wait, by the way, bartender is... Is there any uh, Smithy here affiliated with the School of Pounding by chance? I'm a member. Uh, I don't believe with that specific... That one doesn't name or ring a bell, but there's a Smithy in town. Well, I'll see what kind of services they can provide. I need to craft me some more tomahawks. Yeah, because you left them all at the last place? Yeah, I forgot to gather them. That and we were running away. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the smithy. You do that. Plus, he is senior poopy pants, so. <laughs> okay. 
So, you know, I figure, you know, I just find the smithy, right? I walk in. Right? I'm yep, like, you hello. walk in and he... he uh, words. He, entered, he calls out, hello, how can I help you today? I was wondering if you have any services to you know, provide materials for a, oh. you know, a smithy on the travel to you know, craft their own materials or gear. Oh, no, no, not here, sir. Mm, uh, uh, you feel free to uh, shop from my uh, selection on the wall, but I only have... The uh, I I'm the only one who can work back here. No, okay, but maybe I could just purchase four tomahawks off of you. Throwing ones. Oh yes, we we have those specifically. Um, right there. We only have a. Uh, uh, they're 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 the better, the um the better class. Those are the only ones we have in stock right now. The the veteran class? No, uh the, the class of better. You look at it and when you look at the details it says condition better. Oh condition better. Alright. Uh what's the price for each? Hello? Oh, what the f what? I I'm I'm here. Uh he goes hundred and fifty Floyds each. Oh, Hundred and fifty each. Ooh. Um. Oh, let me think about this. Very well. Is there any work to do in this town to make Floyd's by chance? Uh I mean if you have extra iron, I'll be willing to buy it off you. Mm, let me look. Do you have a series of jewels? And there's some reason numbered. <laughs> uh, I think these were something we were going to do with them. I was very tempted to sell them, but I'll hold on. I'm not pressing for money yet. I just hate parting with it. Okay. I hand, uh, hand over my 600 Floyds and I. I take the tomahawks, and uh, I try not to vomit because ugh, I hate spending money, large sums of it, on things that I'm probably going to lose. Ugh. He 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 chimed in. He's like, "Uh, where are you headed there? Uh, well, uh you you look like a passerby, an adventurer, if you will." That's exactly what I am, and I'm heading towards adventure, since you asked. Uh, Sounds like there's adventure. Okay, yeah, but, but like, where, where, where's, like, are you going to, are you headed towards the uh, the capital, or are you leaving the capital? Oh, Actually, um, that. King Mufasa's capital? This is the one I'm heading towards. I'm not ah. sure. Yeah. Well... They have a, if you can, if you're headed back this way afterwards, there is a, uh, um, they, they have a dock in there and I could, I could use a shipment of, uh, iron or coal and or coal if you could on the way back. Hmm. Might I get your, uh. Credentials, so I might keep you in mind. Uh, he 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 goes. Look at the throwing axe. Uh, the crest is on there. I inspect the crest. You remember the name? crest? Okay, Smithy, memorable crest. Added to notes. Um, the he goes. Yeah, they they. That's where I normally get my shipments from. But uh. Could use a little extra to experiment to play around with. I normally have enough to keep the town happy and uh, 
supplies for some passerbys, but I could use a little extra. You know, the the halls coming in are only so large. Okay, I will jot that down, and if I have to collect any iron, where did you say to look exactly? Oh, it's usually at the docks. They usually ship it down by boat from the mountains. Check docks at capital. Uh, um, would I? Uh, so, so I would be a transaction. I would buy the iron from there and deliver it here. Yes. Okay. Noted, and I will try to see if. That is something that uh, you know lies within my future, our future. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> I was about to wink at him, but I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> All right, I take the uh, throwing axes, tomahawks, and I. Uh, I just remember that there is a uh, an evil enchanter somewhere in this city. At least as far as I was aware, and I checked back in with Willow. Concerned. It's the whole reason I followed her in there so hurriedly. <laughs> Wait, did you move your person back? No, I never moved them to the shop to begin with. Oh, we'll move them to the shop. Okay, uh, that is... 11. 11. No, that's Town Hall. No, that's a, no, that's right. Smithy. Town hall is nine. Okay. Um, all right. So now Gnome Face arrives at the bar at the inn. Okay, I uh, walk up to an empty table with Demi, and we both kind of wave at Willow as we walk past her, and uh, sit down. She and I back. shout, I shout, "Hey, barkeep, uh, what's on the meal for tonight?" He, he he kind of looks at you confused and goes back to serving who he was serving. Uh I, I go um barkeep. Just then uh waitress walks up, she's like, Hello you two. Uh, how can I help you today? I go, uh, well, what's your uh, meal for the night? Say, oh, we have uh, some pork sausages and potatoes. Uh, it sounds delightful. Uh, how much for two meals, two flagons of ale, and a room for the night? So the, you're going to have to go and, like, exit the bar of the part of the inn and go in there for the room. It's usually a uh, hundred a night. The meals are about. Oh no, the, the I think it's a hundred twenty. The meals are twenty bucks a piece or twenty Floyd's a piece, and then six dollars for each of those. Okay, so I shall give you an even sixty Floyd's for being so forthwith with me, and. When the food and drink are ready, please deliver them to my table. Uh, you're welcome, sir. I mean, that that is what I'm here for. And she, she, uh, she always thanks you very much, and she walks away. I await my food. Oh, okay. Uh, just as that happens, Willow sits down next to you. Shows. Hi, guys. Did you find out anything? Uh, well, we weren't really looking, to be honest. We uh, we went and uh, shopping. I did find a very nice quality tome for Demi that shall increase her support capabilities to masterful levels. Oh, very nice. What about you? Any news at the local tavern? Uh, the bartender mentioned that there's a uh, a cult that kind of popped up on the outside of town. Cult, huh? Mm. Well, people have a tendency to follow cults into stupid punch-drinking parties. 
Uh, I say we rest tonight and make sure nobody drinks the punch in the morning. What's punch? Uh, well, no, Willow would know she's from Earth. Yeah, she's not an NPC, man. Willow was a player. Yeah, you remember? so? You could go okay. through your life with, uh, oh, no, no punches. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But either way, I, I go, um, flavored water. Tastes like Kool-Aid. Gotcha. <laughs> that and that way, uh, yeah, we we had a different word for that, but, uh, yeah, um, I already ate, so I'm probably gonna head up to the room. I did get a little more of uh, details, but like we can go over that tomorrow. Okay, it sounds is late, like a plan. So. Where's the 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 big idiot? I, I don't know. I was sitting at the bar and he sat down a couple of chairs away from me, talked to the bar a little bit, and had another drink and then walked out. Hmm. Well, hopefully he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, we're going to enjoy our meal she, and then we'll be going out for and, our room as well. As you said that, she looks at you like, really? He He can be kind of reliable <laughs> you're so about to learn today she goes well i'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> okay see ya i waved to her she heads on to the inside of the things and uh after you guys the conversation your food arrives Did you catch that? Yeah, I'm just waiting to barge into the bar, accusing them of stealing Willow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just kind of like keep eating my food and mumble, could I really steal her if I wanted to? <laughs> I, I mean, at that at this point, like you guys, ha your food arrives and then Donnie Danger shows up. Kind of like one after another. Yeah. I Barge and I'm out of breath. I rushed here right after the smithy when I remembered why I was watching Willow. <laughs> what did you guys do with Willow? <laughs> um, she went to bed. Oh. Oh, never mind. Uh, sorry about the interruption, everyone. Carry on. Did she uh, say anything about what happened to the villagers? No face? What? Did she say anything about what happened to the villagers? Oh, she said there's a cult. Talk about it more in the morning. Oh, a cult? That's yeah. easy. We can just stab them. Uh, well, you can't stab everybody. Come on, man. Well, it's easier to stab a cultist than it is a wraith. Well, what, yeah. if that, what if that cultist you're stabbing happens to be the son and or father that we are also looking for? Has everything got to be a moral conundrum? Just because life is a moral conundrum. This is a video game. This isn't life, no face. This is our life. Care. This is our life now. Look, you told me to try and enjoy it. I'm trying to enjoy the violence. <laughs> I can't argue with that one. I want something to I, punch. <laughs> uh, well, you can punch stuff tomorrow. I'm going to finish my food and go to bed. Uh, and I nod to Demi and I continue to eat. I guess I'll, I'll grab a bite to eat and get ready for bed as well. So our adventurers rest their heads inside of Hammerfell after making their way through the graveyard. They had a tiring trek to get here from Brockhart, including some tension between Numface and Donnie. When we return, our adventurers are going to continue their travels to Ashbourne, where they have some pressing matters to discuss with King Mufasa.